Over 600,000 Americans in 2015 died from heart disease, and over 300,000 died from coronary artery disease. And while the trend in general was, was downward for several years to the point where we were approaching uh, cancer, the two most predominant dietary strategies that have been shown to be beneficial are the Mediterranean diet, which is you know, more focused on you know, obviously the same kind of fruits and vegetables, uh, nuts, legumes, but also fish as a primary meat, uh, animal source of protein, olive oil for, for cooking purposes, red wine, things like that. And then a more of a plant-based, whole food plant-based dietary strategy. As a vegetarian, for instance, you primarily are just avoiding uh, meat-containing products, uh, so animal-based uh, meat products. As a, uh, as a vegan, on the other extreme, you're talking more about avoiding anything that comes from, from an animal source, so milk, cheese, as well as animal-based meats and things like that. Certainly a plant-focused diet is one where the vast majority of your calories are gonna come from plants and legumes and nuts and things like that. And you would avoid animal-containing products when possible, but certainly it wouldn't be as rigorous or as dogmatic as, as a true vegan lifestyle. Some of the specific benefits to transitioning to a plant-based diet are certainly weight loss. Because the vegetables and fruits that are involved in that kind of dietary strategy have so few calories but take up so much space in your stomach, it's really quite easy to eat almost anything you really want without having to pay too much attention to counting calories and things like that and still have weight loss as well as feel full. In addition, all the nutrients and protein and vitamins and things that are needed for your diet are found in, in plant-based sources. People talk about, you know, when they go to family gatherings and there's no vegetarian options, they go out to eat and it's all meat-containing options. You know, when you're busy and you work a lot and you're on the go and I don't have time to chop up vegetables for 45 minutes and, and things like that. I mean, I think these are all real concerns. The good news, you know, from, from my perspective is, uh, as I made my transition from, from being more of an omnivore, probably more honestly a carnivore, to a whole food plant-based uh, dietary strategy was is that you know the grocery stores have gotten more hip to this this kind of transition i think that there's a lot more options out there for people that want to avoid animal protein sources you know i've been pleasantly surprised actually that that there's a lot more patients out there that are that are receptive to this kind of uh, an intervention and want to know more about it and so if you talk to people that have been able to make this transition successfully they would tell you they feel better they're, they're sharper mentally they've lost weight they've either cut down or eliminated the medicines that they take. They're able to exercise more, feel stronger, their relationships are better. This is what you have to gain by making this change. And for me personally, I would never have known the, the taste profiles that were available out there with, with a plant-based diet if I'd never made this transition. You know, meat-containing products, steak, chicken, very predictable, very dependable. You know what you're gonna get. You know, you may be able to change what you put on top of it, but the taste is predictable and I just never would have looked past the, the, the meat section when it came to eating at a restaurant or things like that and had all these amazing foods I've had the opportunity to try at this point in time that, that I now get to enjoy on a daily basis. And, and I think I owe that to the fact that I, I took the plunge and decided to do this for myself. And so hopefully that'll be the experience for, for people that try this.